What is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we are going to be continuing with our barricade upgrade menu and actually making our button do something. So for this, we're going to be working in our seal underscore init file and our init file for the barricade entity. So let's go ahead and begin with the init.lua file here and let's go ahead and move on down to the use function for the entity. And right within this net message, right underneath the net.write entity for the self, we want to go ahead and write one more entity, so net.write entity. We want to go ahead and send over the caller. And this will go ahead and give us the entity that directly triggered this use function. So with that, let's move on to our client side init file. And right within our net.receive function here, I want to go ahead and grab that variable that we just set here, this caller variable. I want to go ahead and grab that. And since it is being called after the net.write entity for the entity itself, we want to go ahead and read it after the entity. So local player equals net.read entity, like so. After that, I want to create two more variables, the local player balance. And this is going to be set to whatever is currently stored in this player's networked int called player money. After that, we need the upgrade price, so local upgrade price. And we'll set this equal to something very simple here. You can make this more advanced if you wanted to. But just for the sake of this video, we're going to do ent.base health times 2. And with that variable made, let's go ahead and move on down to this section here where I have it being set to 100. Let's go ahead and actually set this to whatever the current value of upgrade price is. That will go ahead and give us a much more accurate representation of how much it's going to cost the player in order to upgrade it. Instead of just showing them 100 every time. After that, let's go ahead and move on down to the click function for the upgrade button. And right at the top of this do click function, I want to go ahead and do an if statement here to not only check if the player has enough money to upgrade the entity, but also to make sure that they have not hit the max level for the upgrade. So if player balance is greater than or equal to the upgrade price and ent.current health level is less than the ent.max health level. And if both of these result in true, then we want to go ahead and run the code that is within this statement, which includes this stuff here, as well as some stuff we want to go ahead and add right below this. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and send a net message back to the server in order to update those variables on the server side. So we do this by doing net.start. And the name of this net message will be upgrade entity health. And then we want to send it to the server, so we do net.send to server. Oops, there we go. And now in here, we want to go ahead and put in some variables that we want to be able to receive on the server side. So we want to go ahead and do the entity, so net.write entity. And we want to send over the int. Then we want to do net.write int, which will be the upgrade price. And for this, we will use 11 bits net.write int again and this will be the base health so int.base health and this will also be 11 bits and now with that we are done with the client side file for today let's go ahead move on over to the init.lua file and actually receive this upgrade entity health net message let's go on down to the bottom here and we want to go ahead and create a util.add network string here because in order to receive the net message you need to first create that net message so this will be upgrade entity health. Below that, we want to actually receive it now. So net.receive. And we want to receive the upgrade entity health message. And with this, we want to create a function. And just like any function, end it off. Now, the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and receive those values that we're sending here. So we want to go ahead and receive the entity and the upgrade price and the ent.base health. We will receive that in a different way, but let's go ahead and grab that entity. So local ent equals net dot read entity. Then the local upgrade price equals net dot read int. And since we are setting this to 11 bits here, we also want to go ahead and read it 
with 11 bits as well. Then we can go ahead and set the base health for the entity. So ent.basehealth equals net.readInt. And again, since we are sending this ent base health integer as e or with 11 bits, we also want to receive it with 11 bits. And after that, we want to now set the current health level. So ent.current health level equals whatever the current health level is plus one. And then we want to reset the health. So ent colon set health. And we're just going to set this to ent.base health. And last but not least, we want to go ahead and actually charge the player for this upgrade so they're not just getting a better barricade for nothing. So we want to do ent.owner. That'll go ahead and give us the owner of the entity. And set nwint, the player money networked integer. And we want to go ahead and set this to whatever their current networked int is, or their current balance is. So ent.owner colon get nwint player money minus the upgrade price. And once all that is done, we need to go ahead and add one more thing to the do click function in the client side init file. And that's just to reset the value of upgrade price. And this is going to be set to ent.basehealth times two once again. So if we go ahead and save both of those files, head on into game here, and then purchase ourselves a barricade entity. And if we take note of my money, currently 5,524, and I upgrade it, you can see that the level went up, the base health was reset, and the value of it went up from 100 to 200, and we also lost a hundred dollars. And I do it again, we lose 200, I do it again, we lose 400, and so forth. And once it gets to that max level, we can go ahead and click this button all day long, and it will no longer upgrade past that max level, which is currently level 5. So that will conclude part C of the barricade upgrade menu. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.